In this video, I'm going to go over how to convert a string to a double int or long int value in C using a series of functions available in sdlib.h. So the first thing I'll do is include the library sdlib.h because the functions are defined inside that library. Then we'll make some test strings. We'll say here car star double test is equal to, and we'll put a double in here like 98.45. Then we'll say car star int test is equal to, and we'll put an integer in here like 94. And then car star long int test, and we'll put a bigger integer in here, like some random fairly large number. So then we'll actually convert each one of these strings to their respective value. So we'll say here double, double result is equal to ATOF, and we'll pass the string double test. And that's all there is to it. We just pass the function in the string. It's going to return a double value and we'll store it into double result. The function for converting an int works very similar. We'll say here int int result is equal to ATOI and we'll pass it int test. And then to convert a string into a long int, we can say long int long int result is equal to ATOL and we'll pass it the string long int test. And now we can output the results here just to see if we got everything correct. So we'll say here printf double percent f slash n and we'll output double result. We'll say printf int and we'll output the int result here. And then here we'll say printf long int percent ld and we'll output the long int result. So then we'll save this here and run it, and we should get the converted values as we expect based on what we've got in the strings there. And we get 98.45, 94, and we get the exact same big long integer as a long int as well. And so these are the functions that we can use to convert a string to a double int and long int value respectively. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.